Um, I'm going to start out with the thing that I kind of planned out the most. Okay. Um, the San Francisco 49ers beat the, the Minnesota Vikings by a score of 27 to 10. Okay, as um, you as you predicted. Well, not by that exact score. Yeah, but I was pulling for the yeah, Vikings. I, I pre- of everybody was kind of rooting for the Vikings. The only reason that I was rooting for the 49ers because they were my Super Bowl th- prediction, and we'll get into that later. Okay. So, but So I just want to kind of gloss over these playoff games. <laughs> okay. Um, let's start with uh, Kirk Cousins. For some reason, um, the, the narrative only was gone for about a week, and now it's come back. You can't beat good teams. Shut up, man. The Kirk Cousins, if he can beat – um, the Saints in the Superdome in a oh, playoff yeah. game. I'm yeah. not. I'm not questioning his ability to no, beat good all. teams. No, not at all. Not at all. Although one thing I will say, him and the Vikings looked absolutely lost. Like I was, I was out in the city on Saturday night. Okay. So I, I couldn't really catch much of the game. From what I could gather, San Francisco just dominated the whole game. Exactly what I expected from a number one seed going up against a six seed. So um, uh, Garoppolo. Um, he wasn't involved, but he got the job done. Um, he threw for 131 yards, only 19 pass attempts. Wow. Yeah. Um, one touchdown, one interception. Um, not really that much. Dalvin Cook was stifled. Jesus. Yeah, nine rushes, Did That defensive yards. line, that defensive line is murder. I will say that is murder. But the run game, though? For San Francisco, took over the game. Downright dominant. Um, in combined, Tevin Coleman, Raheem Moster, and Matt Breida had a total of 42 carries for 180 yards and two touchdowns. So, um, and all those factors combined, the 49ers are off to the NFC Championship game.